nation. Replace repressive legislation that undermines and restricts the opposition's effective participation in elections. This has occurred in Algeria, in Benin, Côte d'Ivoire, Senegal, etc. Regular and uh, arbitrary bans of violent, violent suppression of legitimate political demonstrations. Kenya is a case in point. Restricted or no access to public media, as in Cameroon, manipulation and weaponization of the law and the justice system to weaken legal opposition and constrain its lawful operations. The best example being Tunisia, but I would say many others, including Kenya. Impunity in the use and deployment of the defense and security forces against the opposition, as has happened in Chad, Senegal, and even in Kenya. Tumekuja kwa namna peke kuonyesha mshikamano na Senegal, na Burundi, na nchi zote ambazo zinapitia mapito magumu ya kukandamizwa kwa demokrasia. Tumekuja kushiriki kwenye umoja uhumpia wa majumui wa kulinda demokrasia Afrika. Kwa upande wa Tanzania, ambapo ndiyo tumetoka kwenye mkutano wa Arusha pamoja na tume ya haki za binadamu na watu Afrika Tanzania nayo haina tofauti na nchi nyingi ambazo zimetajwa kwenye taarifa iliyotolewa awali juu ya hali ya uminyaji wa demokrasia 